I'm Rehab Jimmy, and I approve this message. I'm going to lower property taxes, and I'm going to save uh, Social Security, and I'm going to give uh, everybody homestead rebates. Who do I sound like? Yeah, politicians. Because you know what? All I see on TV is, is lies, and these campaigns are ridiculous. I put these videos on here, and I'm speaking from the heart about how big this epidemic is, and they haven't responded, haven't said one thing, haven't reached out. I'm coming after you because this has to stop. You want to speak about something in the debate, Mr. President? Speak about this epidemic on how big it is and how many people are dying. And how many people are out on the streets that are addicts. Just this morning, I was at a convenience store on my way to work. It's by the high school in the city I live in. Four kids walk in and are in like a little huddle. So I walk by to get my beverage. And I hear them say that they had stolen five Percocets from their mother who just had an operation. Now, I wanted to say something. But with the state laws... I don't want to break any, so I let it go. However, here's a simple fact. These kids are in high school. They're going to go get high off these Percocets while the poor mother is at home trying to recover from an operation who probably needs them but should be still in a hospital because if not, she's going to be an addict herself if she's not careful. Some people can do it the right way. Some people can't, depending on what the operation was. This is a very small procedure. Shouldn't be a problem. But this this it's just crazy this society and this economy. This doesn't make sense. And you guys go on TV and you're talking about what you're gonna do, how you're gonna change it, <clears throat> excuse me, and, and what you're gonna fix. Now I know there's that's a big achievement and a lot of goals, but why don't you keep it real? And set real goals and change real things for the people out here trying to survive. Because the rich get richer and everybody else still suffers. This country sucks. The economy sucks. Something has to be done. I love the United States of America. I love the state of New Jersey where I live in. You know, let's get back to being grateful for everything that we have and not what we don't have. Let's bring these jobs back to the United States of America, not the foreigners, not other countries. Right here, USA made. Half the stuff we have isn't even made in our country anymore. Let's get back to where we were and our founders who found this country and do the right thing. It's unbelievable. I just watching, you know, a, a, a campaign ad, the one guy talking crap on the other guy, and I approve this message. So what? You approve it. Politics is crap. You guys, you guys make all this money. For crooked business. You should be all in prison for money laundering and extortion. That's what you guys are. If you don't believe me, I'll say it to your face. I speak from the heart. There's a lot of people like me that started out. You know what? I knew early on that I was born with an addictive personality. But however... If the healthcare system and insurance companies were different, the odds would have been more in my favor to not become an addict to the painkillers. Because if I had an 11 hour operation, I should have been in the hospital for at least two weeks where they could have got me through the rough spot. They could have tapered me down to the point where after two weeks, maybe going into the three week mark, I could have left still sore and aching but off narcotic pain medicine. But they don't want to change that. You know why? Because, all right, here you go. Have 11 hours worth of operation. And we're keeping the hospital a couple of days. 
And we're going to send you out of here with all these painkillers. Because you know why? Because we're still making money on the painkillers. The insurance companies are making money. The pharmaceutical industry is making money. The government's making money. The taxes. It's ridiculous. I demand that you listen to what I'm telling you and change the way this happens. I am not going to stop, Mr. President. I hope you watch this and listen to what I'm telling you. You want another four years? Because right now you don't have my vote. You've done good so far with this country. But right now, I don't believe anybody that's going for the President of the United States of America. The pre Mr. Obama, the President right now, you don't have my vote. And, and, and Romney and everybody else, you know, all the running mates, forget it. I don't believe a word you are saying. I am Rehab Jimmy, and I approve this message, just like every other politician says. I'm not a politician. I'm speaking from the heart. I approve this message. Everybody have a great evening, and God bless.